wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dread of D Rose report. Here we go with some more news. TNA knockout Gail Kim recently wedded to celebrity chef uh, Robert Irvin, if you know anything about him. He's uh, that's going to be featured on an upcoming special on the Food Network titled Wedding Impossible. Well, anyway, it's a parody or a spoof on uh, Irvin's Food Network series. It's called Diner Impossible, and it's going to be airing on August 18th, 10 p.m. We get that channel. And uh, September 2012 issue of Food Network features an article on the wedding, which uh, took place back in May, actually. She's already married in uh, Napa Valley, Florida. Irvin planned the entire wedding and uh, left his bride-to-be with only one job to show up looking beautiful as she always does. What if she wore a little outfit? He, uh, and she says that she's the luckiest girl in the world. Uh, I know what little girls dream of. How about big boys? You know what we dream of? Huh? Well, anyway. Several other uh, celebrity chefs, I guess, attended the wedding um, and uh, did uh, cooked up multiple dishes of wedding recipes. Only thing I know of is a wedding cake. I don't know what else you dream of. Anyway, WWE Hall of Famer Edge and Tommy Dreamer, they're going to be appearing at Dave & Buster's on Delaware Avenue, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, on uh, October 7th to promote Dreamer's uh, House of Hardcore. Signing is actually uh, an uh, RF video signing, and the two stars are going to be appearing from about 2 p.m. to about 5 p.m. Now get this, prices are $100 for a combo with Edge that includes photo and autograph. Extra autographs gonna be forty bucks, and Dreamers combo is gonna be twenty five dollars. Uh, you can get twenty five, I mean fifteen for a photo only, and uh, fifteen for autograph only. <laughs> kind of a little bit of a price difference there. And as seen earlier, uh, I don't think I told you about it. I might have. MVP he replied to uh, Kevin. Well, I was talking about Kevin Nash's uh, comments about smaller wrestlers not being able to draw. Well, MVP posted the following on Twitter. He says, let's show the record. I like Kevin Nash, always been a cool to me. Uh, I just don't agree with his opinion. I mean, we're, uh, we are hostile. Former uh, DX uh, member, Billy Gunn, he's been uh, down to developmental for WWE. Uh, this week working with the FC, uh, FCW talent. Uh, and uh, also, last week was Vader. So they're getting some good help down there. All right, regarding uh, WWE's upcoming CM Punk DVD featuring Ring of Honor footage, uh, WWE went to Ring of Honor and asked them to uh, use permission to use some of their footage. And uh, most likely, WWE paid some amount of money to Ring of Honor parent company, Sinclair Broadcasting. WWE uh, also paid money to Ian Rotten to use footage of Punk in the IWA Mid-South. Uh, spread the money around. Anyway, Kevin Nash feels that professional wrestling business died. This is what his uh, tweet was, I guess. Or whatever it was. I think it was in an interview. Anyway, Nash feels that professional wrestling business died in 2004 at WrestleMania 20 when WWE, no, nothing to do with him. WWE's Super Bowl concluded with the image of under six foot tall grapplers reigning supreme as champion and emotionally celebrating. Even though the two wrestlers are now deceased, he still believes that they never belonged in a main event uh, due to their small stature. Well, anyway, he's talking about Chris Benoit and uh, Eddie Guerrero hugged at the end of WrestleMania 20. And that was, he says, the end of the business. As uh, business uh, been the, has business been the same since WrestleMania? Has it been close to the Austin era? Has it uh, come close to the NWO or Hogan era? You put uh, two fucking guys, he says, who are great wrestlers into the same height as a referees. He says, I'm sorry, man. You're gonna watch a uh, porno movie with a guy and, and with a three inch uh, finger, let's say. Even if uh, you're not a guy, you will not watch a porno movie with a guy with a three-inch finger. That's not the standard in porno films. You put the seven-foot guy, or uh, rather the five-foot-seven guy, as your world champion. Nah. 
All right, as noted before, that's Kevin's opinion. And uh, as noted before, WWE recently had a survey out polling fans about their interest in a possible future DVD and Blu-ray release. And here's some of the following names that were mentioned in the survey. And it could be good, especially the last one. Best of WCW Great American Bashes. Uh, Best of WCW Nitro Volume 2 Raw 20th Anniversary Box Set. Uh, WCW, uh, rather ECW, Unreleased Volume 2, which I got Volume 1. Yeah, that's okay. Money in the Bank Anthology, Mick Foley Biography, History of the WWE Documentary, uh, which I think they, I thought they already did that. Anyway, um, Triple H's Biography, which they kind of did that. Best of WWE In Your House, Goldberg Match Compilation. Bret Hart unreleased matches, 25 rivalries in history, 20 uh, divas in history, which I like that, and the best of the Giants, like that. All right, WWE half show uh, last night, taping at the Toyota Center, Houston, Texas, was a legitimate sellout. One fan reported 10,000 people in attendance. Uh, WWE Internet Continental Champion The Miz will be hosting. Uh, the season premiere uh, of uh, first and awesome satellite radio show uh, tonight, 6 uh, Eastern Standard on Sirius 210 and XM Channel 87. Don't get either one of those. WWE SmackDown brand is heading overseas this morning for shows in Japan, China, and Taiwan. David Atunga wrote on Twitter that filming has wrapped on WWE The Hive. Atunga plays a police officer in a movie set to come out in 2013. The movie's also got Halle Berry in it. Just another reason to go see it. The latest issue of Men's Fitness Magazine featuring Arden Schwarzenegger on the front has a feature on Chris Jericho's yoga training regime. Bre uh, rather, uh, Smith Hart, brother of WWE Hall of Famer Bret Hart, weighed in on Kevin Nash's remarks dismissing Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero as world champions due to their relative uh, small stature. He tweeted, Smith Hart did, I understand what uh, where Nash is coming from, but I wonder where Shawn Michaels and X-Pac fits into the theory. <laughs> uh, according to WrestlingFigs.com, Former WWE Champion Matt Hardy is going to be appearing at Body Designs uh, Highway Bay Shore, New York, on Friday, February, uh, Friday, not rather, Friday, August 17th, 6 to 8 p.m. Hey, to put a rumor to rest, I guess Edge is not under contract to WWE in any manner, uh, not even in the Legends deal. He is only scheduled to appear for House of Hardcore debut. Uh, Saturday, October 6th in Poughkeepsie. Uh, the following day in Philadelphia at Dave and Buster's restaurant loaded, located in the uh, same, well, same place. For all, all right, by the way, uh, according to PWI Insider, the Hall of Famer is very content to sit at home and relax after retiring from the squared circle. Uh, SummerSlam, to a tour uh, with his uh, heavy metal band Fozzy, is going to be uh, committed through at least March 13, uh, 2013, an official Twitter feed, Fozzy has announced uh, Tuesday that the group is going to be performing in Australia Music Festival Soundwave, uh, which takes place Saturday, February 23rd uh, through um, Monday, I guess, March 4th next year. Uh, this, uh, this week's WWE Classics on Demand as follows WWF at the Boston Gardens, uh, 1986. Got Raw the beginning. Best of uh, Season 1 and 2, Extreme Championship Wrestling uh, around 1998, and WWF Mania 1993, and World Class Championship Race Wrestling March 1984 on Classics. Anyway, Champion CM Punk, he's featured on the cover of Fighting Spirit Magazine. Former WCW star Scotty Riggs, remember him? Address of the whereabouts of noted valet Kimberly Page, also known as Booty Babe and Booty Girl, and also known as Diamond Dow, a, di a doll, uh, via Twitter writing, as she said, she's living in a normal life in Utah now. Nitro Girl's founder re remarried after divorcing Diamond Dallas Page in 2005 and works as a management consultant. And my wife would be great at a management insultant because that's all she knows how to do good. Anyway, 
WWE is going to be holding a live Raw event, Hartford, Connecticut, XL Center, Saturday, October 21st, um, 5 p.m. Ezekiel Jackson, uh, who WWE has not utilized in weeks, stated on Twitter that he's going to be returning to the ring soon. Hall of Famer Georgiano Steele is uh, today's featured superstar on .com. And WWE uh, Wrestling, rather, this plain old The Wrestling Observer, has compiled data on the most popular or most talked about professional wrestling performer in the first six months of 2012. Anyway, based uh, on Google activity and searches, the, amongst the female talents, AJ garnered, garnered the most uh, interest in the uh, United States by a considerable margin. And she's trailed by Eve, uh, Velvet Sky, Vicky uh, Guerrero, Beth Phoenix, Mickey James, and Gail Kim. No other female talent gained substantial interest. Although uh, not foolproof, the rankings are a good uh, gauge on how over somebody is legitimately uh, with the general public and as well as uh, whether WWE and TNA are making professional uh, promotional efforts, uh, whether they're working or not. And apparently, AJ, they're working. I better get off of here. I ain't got any more news right now. I'll wait till tomorrow when there's more and I'll let you know. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.